Have you ever talked to someone that's like a regular exerciser or someone that's really achieved a goal that you want and you see them and they have this kind of superhuman discipline where they seem to magically have no problem going to the gym every day and you're kind of like, how the hell did you become that way? Maybe you're just special and I'm just not like that. Well, when you go after really any goal, there's really a three-stage progression and almost nobody wakes up and just loves going to the gym. I mean, I was never like that. I don't know a lot of people that were like that. For me, and like many people, we're driven by emotion, right? I hated being skinny. Someone else may hate being fat. In today's video, I wanna share with you the three steps that basically anyone goes through from hating or being really resistant to some kind of habit or exercise to eventually really, really loving it. What's up guys, Alex Hine here, author of Master of the Day. And there's really three phases you go through. And it doesn't matter if you're dating, if you're trying to get fit and go to the gym, or if you're getting like a new job, for example. Typically, these three phases I find to be almost everywhere. So the first phase here is the resistant phase. So in the resistant phase, it's where like, you're like, okay, I need to get fit. I know I have to go to the gym. And you're thinking, and there's a lot of just, oh, it's painful inside. There's knots in your stomach. You don't want to do it. You're trying to do anything but do it. Right? You know you should, but there's a lot of internal resistance. It's like pushing a wall. It's the same thing in a relationship at the start where it's like you have to kind of put in a lot of effort and you're not sure if the other person's going to give it back. And it's just a lot of effort. It requires a lot of energy. It's the same if you're playing a sport. Like you want to learn tennis, right? At first, you can't even hit the ball. And then eventually you hit it over, but it like flies out. And then you hit it again and it goes into the net. Eventually, the first phase is really painful. It kind of sucks where you keep, you just want to play a freaking game of tennis, but the ball keeps flying out, flying out into the net, up behind you, you miss it, and you think there's a hole in your racket. All of this stuff is the first phase of going after any habit or any goal. There's the resistance. It's not that fun, and you're pushing a wall. It requires energy. Phase two is really the treading water phase. In working out, for example, the habit, this is where you're kind of like, you know, you know when you're treading water, you're kind of like doggy paddling, and barely sinking, barely floating. Well, in working out, this is the phase where if you miss a couple days, you really get off track easily, and then you miss a couple weeks, and you really can sink pretty quickly. It's the phase where your habits are kind of up and down, like you go great for a couple weeks, and then you get off track for a couple weeks. In the new relationship, it might be where you're texting each other, you're going out, there's lots of like back and forth, but you guys aren't sure if you're gonna be a thing yet, you're gonna be official or whatever, and there's still like this weird like sink or swim feeling where it might work out or it might just be like you're afraid to not respond because then they might think you're seeing other people and all this weird stuff's going on. It's that in between like very delicate phase. And back to the tennis analogy, it's where, you know, you're not hitting things out, up and down as much and you're getting a few things over. Like maybe you've realized, okay, I need to hit it at this angle for it to go over the net and you're getting a few nice swings in, things are going better, but you're not good enough to really play a match yet because it's still very hit or miss. You hit like three perfectly and then one just flies out of the park, right? You hit three perfectly and then you completely miss a ball or it like flies backwards. This is the treading water phase. The habit is very delicate. It can change, it can go up and down. You get off track easily, but you're still improving quite a lot versus the resistance phase. And then in the third phase is what I call the horizon, right? The horizon, if you've ever been on a sailboat or a boat, you see the horizon like the sun's rising in the morning or maybe it's setting and it's just like this beautiful inspiring thing where it's awesome to see you know everything lining up for you well in the horizon phase basically when it comes to working out at this phase which could be six months in or it could be six years in fitness and working out is just what you do like you love it it's at the phase where i am now where i've been doing it for 10 years i crave it when i don't work out I go through a full day working nine hours and I have to go to the gym or else I'm a grumpy old bastard. It's just what I do and who I am now. I was never like that. There's nothing genetically about me that allowed me to do that. I've just been doing it for so long that I'm at the horizon stage. Same in a relationship. The horizon stage is where things are just working out, right? You guys have clicked, now you're official, things are going well, and it's easy and effortless. The right relationship is just fun. Things work out, you go on adventures together, you're laughing, you're having fun, there's no, not or not that much uncertainty, not that much kind of insecurity, and it just works, right? It's just solid habit, and everything's going well and going happy. 
And the tennis phase, this is where it's actually fun because now you can play back and forth with your friends. You don't have to worry about missing the ball or shooting it out of the park and losing all the balls again, having to be that person. You can actually play a match. You can have fun. This consistency with how good you are. And overall, you've gone through the three steps here. So what I'm trying to say is simple. Whenever you go to create a new habit or achieve a new goal, there's almost always multiple phases. There's the resistance phase that everyone goes through, like trying to wake up in the morning or trying to eat a new diet or do a new workout plan. It kind of sucks at first. There's nothing fun about it. You may feel good or you may start looking better, but it takes a lot of energy. Then eventually you move into the treading water phase where the treading water is your habits kind of up and down, your consistency's up and down. It's very delicate because you can get off track easily. That's the middle phase, treading water. And then eventually you will get to the horizon phase. If you persist long enough, you will get there. The horizon phase is awesome. Whether you're trying to lose weight and just have that fitness habit, that lifestyle, or if you want the relationship, or if you want to be able to play tennis or do a sport, the horizon phase is if you persist long enough with the habits, they become normal rituals and routines for you. That's just the way you are. And that's when life gets really good. So if you're feeling really discouraged right now, always think about this kind of three-phase approach because I've spotted it quite a lot in many different aspects of my life. Not easy at first. The middle, the habits are very hard to keep. They're up and down. You're going great and then they crash. And then eventually you get there if you persist. All right, so before you go, I want you to leave a comment right there below. Along your kind of weight loss journey, what phase are, do you think you're in? So what phase are you in in regard to the three that I mentioned here and how far away do you think you are from that horizon phase? Hey guys, it's Alex. Did you like this video? If so, there are three ways you can really stay in touch with me. The first thing is obviously to click the subscribe button right there. Every single day I'm releasing a brand new Tiny Habit video to help you lose weight, feel awesome, and live better. Second thing is, you can check out my book, Master of the Day. Brand new, just came out, it's been topping the Amazon bestseller list, and it's been getting great feedback. It's all about the tiny success habits to help you lose your next 20 or 30 pounds and get to kind of that next level, both in your health, but also in your life. And the third thing is, come visit me over on my website, modernhealthmonk.com. Punch in your email there and I'll give you a free guide on the exact five daily habits to help you lose your next 20 or 30 pounds. So go do those three things now, and I look forward to catching you in the next video.